and good day to everyone. This is June San again, the diesel doctor. Uh, today I will discuss is about a common rail pressure problem. What are the different problems if the rail pressure drops? Normally, engine will not start if the common rail pressure drops. Many cases of this, uh, we do not understand what is the cause of the pressure drops and we are mistaken with other problem and we don't know that the problem is the pressure because we don't have appropriate equipment or is diagnostic scanner to check the pressure. Today I will introduce to you one type of uh, diagnostic uh, simulator and at the same time pressure tester. Actually we have also that in the MUT but it is it has a longer time to connect than the one I will show you today. This one is a common rail uh, tester simulator uh, model CR508S. This one is very easy to uh, fix. We will just remove the uh, rail uh, wirings, rail pressure wires or socket and then we will connect one side to this one and after that the other side where we remove from the wiring side which is the male we will connect with the female so in short this is bypass only with the wiring of the original uh, common rail uh, wires so but we have to supply power of course this one have you see the red and the black wires this means we have to uh, connect to the battery positive and negative and it is a wide uh, voltage for up to 32 volts we can use so this means we can use for truck also not only for 12 volts but for 24 volts and uh, the procedure is easy and uh, I will show you now how to fix this and then we will start the engine after then we will see how much is the pressure and uh, after that we will do the simulation simulation so for the meantime uh, we will go with the fixing and then we will continue our uh, video okay now i will uh, remove the uh, socket of the rail pressure sensor and i will take from here on the downside the socket is here, the rail pressure sensor is here, this area, and the socket at, is at the end of the uh, common rail. And uh, uh, I will remove like this, then I take the wiring, this is a female. So what I will do with, the, uh, uh, with our tester, we will connect the male, okay? So what I will do is like this connect the male here okay and the other one where we get the we will connect in the pressure uh, sensor itself from the downside so we will uh, fix downside like this we will check we will catch from here from downside and fix where are you this one Okay. Like this little we cannot see. One, two, three. Again. Like this, huh? Okay, it is now connected. Like this, little little hard, but now it is uh, completely connected and the other wire is also connected coming from our wiring and then uh, this is, uh, is now our uh, tester simulator where is the red one and we have to connect this uh, red one here with the alligator clip and the negative is here so now 
I will uh, leave little the tester here and I will start the engine. I am set. Uh, first of all, I want to tell you that there are some uh, four uh, sections here. We have fuel pressure test. Now we are going pressure test is here. P fuel pressure test. This is boss. Uh, if we move here, it is a boss simulation. It is a denso simulation. It's here. And Delphi simulation is there. But for the meantime, we are doing only uh, fuel uh, pressure test and we will change the uh, unit of measurement from uh, MPA to uh, kilograms or bar now it is bar so we change already the unit of measurement into bar so this time we can start the engine now now uh, the engine has started already and the pressure reading is recorded already in our CRS 508S and uh, it is uh, recording as much as 500, uh, 350 to uh, like 360 uh, bar. So this pressure is just enough for an idling. A common rail pressure idling is around 300 to 350. So this is a uh, very nice uh, pressure for this idling and um, I want to tell you that sometimes pressure drops what happens when this pressure drops say uh, like uh, less than 200 or um, uh, le more less than 200 you cannot start the common rail engine anymore most commonly that is the problem of our common rail engine is low pressure when the pressure is uh, low, we cannot start and we do not know that the problem is pressure. So how we can understand if we don't have a simple device or a simple tester simulator like this, the pressure. We are just uh, confirming in, uh, in another way, but this is not like a conventional diesel engine that we can uh, remove the pipes while cranking. So this one is little dangerous. Now at this, at this time, what happens if the pressure is dropped? Uh, the pressure drops, engine will not uh, start and possibly you have to check the uh, suction control valve. The most common is suction control valve, but where it is appearing is on the rail pressure sensor. But the uh, actual problem, failure of the suction control valve will cause low pressure, which are the common problem of no starting of common rail diesel engine. Now you have seen how to fix this tester and how you will uh, measure the rail pressure by means of this. So we will not be guessing only and uh, we are not uh, worried about the pressure. We don't know what is the cause of the no starting which is very common in our common rail engine. Most common is pressure is very low and we don't know whether it is low really but by this, this tester you will understand this and this is very simple and very appropriate to use this tester I hope uh, you can uh, follow uh, the procedures in fixing you can just repeat again and repeat my uh, video so that you can uh, make sure understand how to fix this type of tester Okay, uh, once again, uh, this is uh, your diesel doctor saying uh, good evening to everyone and goodbye.